Once a company's software licensing is implemented, many stakeholders need to be informed if certain events occur. External parties, such as end users or customers, might need to be notified that a new license has been issued for them. Internal parties, such as a sales representative, might want to receive an email when a potential customer's trial is about to expire, for example. Although some software vendors might prefer to send notifications themselves, LicensePring does provide a robust and straightforward solution. Let's explore what's included with LicensePring's notification module. You can turn on and off many different types of notifications depending on which emails you would like LicensePring to send out. There are four main categories of notifications available. The first type are customer notifications, which are sent out when an order is added to LicensePring. Then, there are user portal and user-based license notifications, such as assigning a license manager to an order or a licensed user to a user-based license. The third category of notifications concern the validity period of time-limited licenses or of trial licenses, such as whether a, a license has expired or will expire in the future. Finally, there are notifications intended just for administrators of the license spring account, such as a notification that an invoice has been finalized or that a payment method has been added or removed to the account. You can set the recipients for each of these notifications under the notification policies. For example, a trial created email could be sent to the customer email on hand, as well as to specific internal people such as your account representative. Internal emails, such as payment method updated, can only be sent to account users if selected. Most of our notification templates have additional controls. A trial will expire email, for instance, can be sent several times, such as 30 days, 15 days, and one day prior to expiring. The Emails tab allows you to change what information is sent in the email, such as the title, message body, and variables, like the license ID, order ID, or customer email address. Lastly, you can click on the Notification History tab to see which emails have been sent, and you can select one of them to resend from here.